The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Yeah. Hi, I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is uh, JP. Nothing else needs to be said, really. Nope. Pretty much self-explanatory. Nope. Uh, but he is the uh, only two-time uh, Wichita's Funniest Person. Please welcome back Mr. Derek the Rec Alders. That's right. Yep. Are you going to do it again next year? I don't know. Do I go for thrice? I, I figure you might as well now. I wonder if I can host and win. <laughs> yeah, I can see if you can do both. That would yeah. be impressive. One hundred percent, dude. You should definitely do it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I, I think we'll that see. Could, that would give like uh, everybody, including myself, JP, and all of the other comedians, the biggest fuck you. And I think that would be I'm even just, funnier. I'm just trying to win more than LeBron. Well, that's <laughs> okay. What I'm good to luck. Do. That's good. Right be now, tough. right now, I think I have the same finals record. <laughs> trying to trying to get better trying to up yeah. that that's great that's why i still do comedy just for the longevity record <laughs> right <laughs> well welcome in everybody to another episode of the laughing on the sidelines podcast this is a comedy show where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports this is also an adult podcast we like to use foul language and offend people who have very thin skin so if you don't like that uh fuck you and that's all I have to say about that. Uh, if I keep losing weight, I've got some extra skin for some people. I was getting ready to say, dude, you actually are losing. You look good. I know. I've been trying to. Well, no. the last, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, the, hey, dude, the last time that he came back, it was from I'll fucking Japan. you look better. Okay, that's good. Or I can see you're losing weight, but way to, good? Way, way to absolutely... You think oh, he looks you'd good? fuck me. <laughs> yeah, but that has nothing to do with how you look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I just want some of that Wheel of Fortune money. Yeah, way to... <laughs> I, I think I'm might have a couple bucks. Yeah, that. That's all I'm looking for. Yeah. Way to bring down the most pessimistic person in the fucking world, JP. You're welcome. You fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, we got a great episode for this week. Uh, we've got uh, our week, week recap, which we always kick everything off with. We got hot topics, which uh, is going to be fun. <laughs> what in the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? Yeah. That's our new hot topic. That's Christ. what happens when you're gone. Uh, it's we have, like a shittier Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have <laughs> never have I ever. That's why I draw the line questions in preguntas a draft and is always a shitty situation but obviously the week re recap is the most important part of the show where we decided that uh, we're gonna make this pretty fucking lengthy if we want to and uh, that's what we may do uh, but we're gonna kick this off with uh, jp because i know i heard that you had an excellent fucking week and weekend yeah. with multiple stories wow yeah you, where did you hear that <laughs> Because that dude <laughs> lied to you, man. No, I uh, I went to a friend's 50th birthday party on Sunday. Was that this week or last week? Last week and this week. Oh, uh, two, different two, guy. Yeah. two in a row. Multiple, multiple row. personalities. <laughs> multiple personalities. Yeah, Same dude, different birthday. Nice. Uh, no, his uh, went out Fucker to his mom and dad <laughs> out in El Dorado and went swimming and lake? shot off Did you go to the lake? No, they have a pool. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I hang out with all rich people. Well, that's what you got to do, right. man. Right. That way I can that's still the... enjoy the high life without being fucking rich. Absolutely. Dude, you always enjoy the high life. Yeah. Well, that's true. I'm high right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is why I can't really think of another fucking thing I did. Well, oh, I went bowling. I bowled like shit. Well, that's... Par for the course. Shocker. Yeah. 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 You I got was in to... third place in the last week. Oh, really? Not no more. How about sugar? You got to start watching that again. I didn't start it yet. What I'm the gonna fuck? Start it tonight, whenever I get. What home. do you say you idea? do? What do you I do? I mean, I went over to a buddy's house and played video games. Some I fucking worked. I bowled. I 
It's not like I'm just sitting around doing absolutely we have nothing. A, we have a question on this week's show, and I, and I, I'm, I bet he, it's just going to be fucking flatline. It's just going to be the most boring fucking thing on the face of the fucking planet. Dude, now I'm just going to make shit up. You kind of so have to. Not. You kind of have to. Oh, really? Just to be able to answer the how, question. How fucking pathetic I am. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I mean, speaking of bringing people down, Scotty, uh, holy shit. What a fucking mood today, I man. I mean, apparently so. Did something happen to you today? Yes. Oh. Uh, yes. Oh, well, let's hear all about it. How many uh, knuckles deep did he go? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, all the knuckles. No, all the three knuckler. No, three, three knuckler. No, I six I, knuckler. He used both hands. Yeah, we call that a sh- we we call that a double fister. A double that's, fister. That's what I got. Yeah. Fuck. No, I, I wasn't gonna tell the story, but because you didn't say shit for yours, I guess I got enough time. I said something. So a lot, everybody that's been listening to the show for a long enough time knows that I work for a, a dealership and I'm in the service department. So I'm the guy that you call when your shit fucks up. And I get the nicest people every single day, as you can imagine. Their yeah. shit's broke. Right. Um, but uh, it, this is this is a, a span of two months. Two months ago, they, this 22-year-old sent his girlfriend to bring in their car for an issue and uh, I'm going to kick this off with when she was pulling it into our shop, she absolutely takes out one of our poles with the front <laughs> bumper of her car. Fucking women should not be driving. Putting a softball size hole in the front bumper. So we're kicking this off already real yeah, well. Yeah. Um, then uh, we get it into the shop. It's an intermittent deal. It takes us six days to fucking diagnose it to the point to where I ended up giving the dude a courtesy car because I felt bad because we couldn't get it to Figure act it up. Yeah. Right? That was very courteous of you. It was. <laughs> um, he gave me then, a courtesy car, too. We then get the manufacturer involved, and we figure out what it is. We have parts on order that come in the next day, and we are getting ready to fix this car. Right? Yeah. Well, then he starts sending me weird texts. I've been doing the same job basically for almost 20 years. And I never, in, in the 20 years or however many years it's been, I've never gotten this text message. And it was, do you guys uh, report your repairs to Carfax? And I was like, no. I mean, this is, this is under warranty. This is There's no reason why we would ever report that. But if we do, I don't know. And he's asking all these probing questions about about stuff like that. Like, is, is somebody going to know that they did work on this car? And I said, I said, no, I, we're not going to report it to anybody. But he then uh, doesn't say anything, shows up at the dealership 20 or 30 minutes later with his mother, who is just an absolute delight. Just a gem just of a, a woman. Just a gem of a woman <laughs> who proceeds to cuss me out and tell me that we are not fixing his car. The manufacturer is going to buy it back. Mind you, after they put a softball size hole in the front They're of their fucking gonna, bumper. Yeah. Does it matter? It's like, uh, I mean, we don't have to fix it. I'll give it back to you. It doesn't. It doesn't no skin doesn't, off my fucking back, It doesn't back, matter. Man, yeah. The only thing that pissed me off was he was in a fucking car for like six or seven days that the manufacturer's not yeah, going to pay for it. We right, have to. Right. And he's like, I was like, why? And his mom was like, it's going to devalue the car. I'm like, no, it's not. We're going to fix it. And then the manufacturer's not going to buy it back. They're just not going to do that. If they know it can be fixed, they want us to fix it. She apparently and him went tooth and nail with the manufacturer for over a month. Hadn't heard anything from the guy until he pulls on to the fucking drive at work unannounced wants, one day. He, he wants it fixed. Walks in with a big smile on his face and says exactly what I told him is exactly what's right. No, they're not going to buy it back. They're going to want us to fix it. You're wasting your fucking time. And he goes, well, I'm going to go, go ahead and fix it. Can but you just I'm, tell him no? I'm going to get a loaner car. I'm going to need a loaner car. Can you just say no? I could. We don't feel like fixing your car. You I'm, we're fuck. Not, I'm not like that. I am. But. That's why I don't have your job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no, I'm not like that. Okay. So so then I, he, he says, he goes, go ahead and fix it, but I'm going to need a loaner car. And I just looked at him like, that's not how this works, dude. We're scheduled out three weeks. I have to reorder the parts, and I'm secretly crossing my fingers and hoping that those parts are now on back order. Guess what? They are. Wow. Nice. Proceeding to now delay the repair now two months, he is calling me every single day and uh, asking if the parts are in. And, of course, I'm beginning to get annoyed. But finally, he had a Ford representative call me who didn't know the whole half of this story. 
And uh, I proceeded to let her know, and sure as shit, uh, he's not getting help until parts come in. But they don't want me to drive the car. Well, you've been driving it practically for almost two and a half right. months. You can continue to drive it. And whenever our parts come in, I'm not giving you a fucking yeah. car because of this shit. Right. So it spins me into a, d- a dimension of pissed off that I haven't been in the, the as long as I've done this. If you have a fucking car, uh, this is what, what's, this is why. What's the problem with it? The pro- uh, It needs a head. Me so, too. <laughs> Fuck, don't we all? It needs a head. I'd wait two months for that. It's such an intermittent deal. But the whole I'll reason, drive it myself but until I got, then. I got to the bottom of why they didn't want us to fix it. Because they thought that their vehicle, with having major engine work while under warranty, was going to severely devalue the car because they wouldn't have matching numbers. This is the shittiest what? kind of fucking car. Yeah, like, it makes sense if you have, like... A signature edition right. no. fucking like Laguna 69 Seca. 69 fucking right. Yes. Yeah, something yes. like that. Something like that. Wanna, yeah. 69 head. 69 yeah. head. <laughs> yeah. It makes what sense. What kind of car is this? This is a 2023 Ford Escape three cylinder pile of shit. Escape. Yes. I mean, this is the biggest fucking joke yeah. I have ever heard. Wow. I think that's the engine that Jesse told me to stay the fuck away Pretty from. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And so it, it's just been an absolute shit storm and I had to talk to him and the four, or four, uh, the manufacturer's rep and yeah, it's it's just been a day and I'm very irritated. So right. welcome into a great show, kids. Oh, this is going to be good stuff. Um, I did, uh, over the, over the weekend, I did have some good moments though. Uh, my dad drove all the way up from Western Kansas just to have dinner with me and my wife. Uh, that's uh, a round trip of six hours in one day just to hang out with his son. That's a good father. So, uh, happy to have that just kind keep, of thing. Keep bragging that you're yeah, no kidding, oh, man. Fuck. Both our dads are dead. I didn't dads. mean to do that on Both purpose. Both our dads are dead. Fuck, yeah. I'm you know? sorry. Must I mean, be fucking nice, Scotty. Yeah. My dad couldn't was, have dinner with me. Oh, wait, he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't mean that. That's cool, man. Good for <laughs> you and so your dad. Sorry. Yeah, congrats. I didn't yeah, mean man. To do Father's that. Day's uh, coming up. That'll I'm be real so good sorry. for you, too. God damn it. I'm so sorry. I just was, I wanted to give a shout out to my dad because that's, he still does that and he has for many years and I think it's cool. Yeah, man. Um, good for you. Well, yeah. You can't have dead without D A D. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. That's right. Oh, that's terrible. Um, I did also go golf. I, I got to golf uh, probably one of the last times with my good buddy who is uh, moving out of the state. He's moving up to Ohio. And so uh, I will not have a, a golf buddy in the next couple of weeks. Hey, man, you taking applications or what? Absolutely not. Yeah. I, 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 got, I got some people in mind. You okay. golf with your wife? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I golfed with her this weekend. She did excellent. Uh, we got to play at uh, Crestview Country Club, which is where they have the Wichita Open. And it, Ooh, la, oh, no. la, Oh, no. The coolest part is is that it, that's only in the next like week or two. And so they have like the seventeenth hall all decked, decked out, out like it's yeah. at a fucking tournament. And oh man, I felt I felt special. Uh, yeah, you I, probably, probably looked special. I probably did. Yeah, you're the only one with a helmet. Uh, yeah, the yeah. whole course. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I also, I don't know, man. I I I've been really enjoying like the ability to go to trivia on Tuesday nights with with my family. You know, that's something I just have enjoyed over what, the last... With a dad? Well, it must be nice. No, this is a stepdad. You uh, still have that. We're re- we record on yeah. Tuesday nights. Well, only when Derek's here. Yeah, uh, no. Every Everybody else lets me go and do trivia on Tuesday wow. night. <laughs> Holy shit. Sorry, I just worked 13 I days know, in a row. I know. I can't blame the guy. He needs a day off. I'm just giving him shit. Uh, but dealing, dealing with you is like working five jobs. I understand completely. It's totally acceptable. Uh, but I was really like excited and proud of myself because I hit two questions and I was the only person in the entire bar. Now, granted, these are like twelve teams of over the age of forty-five. Majority of these people, but and I asked, got who is Cardi B? <laughs> no, oh God, I don't know what if I'd be able to WAP pick her out of a line. What does WAP yeah. stand for? No, the first one I, I I knew I thought was stupid, and I know you guys will get it. What is Capoeira? Yeah. It's dance fighting. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, you didn't know that. Yeah, because oh, Bob's Burgers, man. Okay. Yeah. Tina okay. did yeah. Capoeira. Okay. Yeah. okay. Dude, the, uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> sorry. I just so what you think sure. I don't know? No, Linda the, did Capoeira. I think the, I'm pretty sure Tina did it, too. The daughter? Yeah. The other one, though, I thought was actually a pretty decent poll, to be honest with you. And uh, if J- you, JP loves decent polls. I know he does. But <laughs> I, I, I kind of don't have any... Well, and I don't mean to be a jab at JP. I don't have any doubt that you will probably know this one. But you don't think I will. I don't 
don't know if you well, will. Well, fucking bring it, bitch. Okay, so and the, don't answer, Derek. Let me yeah, answer first. That way, don't, don't Scotty answer. doesn't be like you didn't know. Don't answer. All okay. Right. All right. So the question was in the movie Independence Day. Okay. What was the call sign of the president at the end of the movie when he goes up to fight the aliens? Who gives a fuck? Really. Yeah, I don't. I think I've only seen that movie twice. Oh, really? Yeah, the, and it's the, been the a old, while. the old one with Will Smith. Yeah, yeah okay. I've only seen it. it a you couple don't know times. what it is? No. Oh man, I was for sure because I was the only one on the bar and I knew it immediately. Man, you are so fucking yeah. cool. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait to tell more people I know you. Eagle one. Eagle one. Eagle one. Oh, Fox man. three. Eagle one. Fox two. I'll, and I was just like, fuck, that was fucking easy. But yeah. I, I, uh, Man, I felt so like it was a good pull. Cool, I thought it was a good pull. Did everybody yeah. in the bar think you were so cool? Uh, the, my team sure shit did because uh, nobody good. else knew. Yeah, good fucker. Good for you. Uh, but yeah, and, your th- dad. and that and, and yeah, and that was pretty much my week. I was gonna guess dad won. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was pretty much my week. Uh, I, I kind of have been tossing this idea around, and I think it's a terrible idea. But I may is do it, it anyway. Is it doing a podcast? Because I, Cause I yeah, that is a fucking <laughs> you should horrible not do idea. It. I'd say this one was a pretty good success. I like it, and and I think uh, I think that was a great idea. Uh, but no, I, it's not doing a podcast. I thought I thought about uh, doing uh, something else, just kind of on the side uh, of like uh, uh, cool like moments in baseball that nobody knows about. That's like really really fucking good stories. Okay, and actually do like a, a YouTube channel about it, but. I don't know. I'm tossing it around. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But the first one that I wanted to do, of course, is Eddie Klepp. Yeah. I think that would be a good story. The whole the whole story about how good Barry Bonds was, the home run race, all of that kind of shit. That you don't a lot think of people, people don't. knew that Barry Bonds was good. I don't think people <laughs> understand. I don't. I don't think people understand the the even with the steroids and him being an absolute fucking cheating piece of shit, he still had to hit. Those home runs, but he was also walked more in that season than anybody else ever by a lot. You so notice he skipped right over the Negro Leagues? Yeah. Yeah. What? Because no. he's racist. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? What about the th- Negro Leagues, man? What about him? Can we get a story about Did them? Did you not Absolutely. see they combined stats? They combine stats? Yeah, what do you think of that? I think that's fair. I, I, I kind of I, I, I don't really have an opinion about it. People are like, well, there's different pitching. Yeah, probably better pitching. Uh, yeah. <laughs> who was it? Probably what it was. Who was it that came over that was a fucking hoss? I think it was Josh was Gibson. It Bob Gibson. Josh Gibson. Was it Josh Gibson? Yes. Okay. He's, yeah. Yeah. It's Bill like, Gibson. Like tough, <laughs> tough shit. I mean, but I, I I'm kind of fifty. Lenny 50. Dawson. <laughs> But like people like uh, tradi- Daryl Strawberry, traditionalists are generally going to say that'd be a good one. Daryl Strawberry, well, tell his story. Okay, <laughs> good for you. Pete but Rose, that was another one I was going to do. And why Alan Herbert? Why Pete Rose should not be in the Hall of Fame? That's another one. I think that'd be a good Fuck fucking yeah, story. Yeah, would man. I can't a, wait. It's a very controversial topic or a controversial stance on that. But mm-hmm. anyways, I don't know. I I have no idea. Uh, but go ahead, Derek. You've been gone for a couple of weeks, uh, participating in the in the baseballs. Yeah, that's yeah. all I've done. I know. Uh, I did call the MC a wiener over the PA system. Nice way to so go. That was nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. He had a hot dog suit on, and I have to make jokes. And I'm like, <laughs> all right. And so I'm like, well, every now and again, I'm like, they're either gonna fire me or I'm coming back tomorrow. Uh-huh. And uh, he had a hot dog suit on, and he said something, and I was like, I always knew you were a wiener. And then I, the windows were open, I heard the whole fucking stadium just go oh <laughs> and i'm like oh Zing! shit Zinger. got him but i went to work the next day there you go um <laughs> we had they had a they had pacific it, it was poorly promoted it was like pacific islander and like asian heritage night or something yeah uh, and but what kind of promotion is that? I don't fucking know. Were and they was, handing out egg rolls? Yeah, what was they, it was, it was, I was going to say they have lumpia there. It was out of nowhere. Like I, all of a sudden it's like Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday and I'm reading the script and I'm like, and don't forget to come out Friday for our Pacific Asian heritage night and a Pacific Islander Asian heritage night. And I'm like, the fuck is this? <laughs> like you didn't want to promote that maybe for a few weeks. Nah, and so uh, all 15 of them will figure it out. They, 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 they use, yeah. they use chopsticks instead of baseball bats, right. just um, oversized chopsticks. They, they bring me, that's very racist. They bring me, uh, <laughs> what? they bring, they bring me my script in the tiniest fucking font. Usually I have a, a bigger font because I have to fucking <laughs> sit here and read like this. 
and uh, and and so all week so I you been, squint your eyes. <laughs> Maybe that may be why. That's what I didn't even think about. Oh, that. thank you for was, joining us tonight. That's what that was fucking about. <laughs> yeah. Sponsored by Regos. Yeah, that's what that was about. So I get these first pitches, and I'm like, and I, whenever I found out they were having this, night, I was like, oh, please don't give me some of these fucking really difficult names, <laughs> right? So he, he, they have pronunciations next to them, thank God. and some of them weren't bad, right? Okay. All right. I had fucking five first pitches. <laughs> yeah. Um. What the weirdest name, second weirdest name I got was Tabeen. That uh, was a weird one. Uh, yeah. But the Tabine first one, or not to the first one I have, uh, let me just show you the name and then there's the name. I speak, I speak fluent Japanese. Right. That's not Japanese. This that, is like, that's the whole page. What are you talking no, about? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like, yeah, the, there's me, 73 letters. Yeah, Derek, Derek, Derek is name. showing me a page of the Bible here. I, no, like, I zoomed in on the, it was the first word. I didn't uh, see it. It was uh, Shiva Kumar Balasobramanimar. <laughs> and I was What's like. What's so hard about that? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's pretty easy. Yeah. Give it a shot. There it is. Right there. Read it Read it quickly. This this person's going to get like read some it quick, kind like. of famous. She's going to be followed by everybody on Instagram. It's a dude. Oh, it's uh, a dude. Yeah. <laughs> The answer, dude, it's Shiva. Yeah. Just take a couple looks at it and then announce it like he's throwing the pitch. Shiva Kumar Balasabarana Monte No, that'd be that's soccer. Oh, uh, that's yeah. that's soccer. Well, yeah. yeah, I thought I did pretty good. I was Not like, what in the fuck is this? So I sent it to Tim, <laughs> yeah. uh, which I know I told you before the show. He told me to tell you to fuck off, but he really yeah. wanted me to drive it home. So fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> So I said it to Tim, and Tim was just more than entertained with it. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. sure he was. Yeah, he was like, I, I couldn't wait for you to, to to announce that one. Do you know if we're, like, the only team in Major League or Minor League Baseball that has five people go up and do a first pitch? Oh, dude, it's unreal. It's ridiculous. They were doing the most ridiculous thing. I don't know if I talked about this the last show or not. I may not have. Uh, dingers for dollars. Did I tell you about this? No. So they had this promotion going JP's on. JP's extremely now done, interested. Now, I've done dongers for dollars <laughs> before, but never dingers. Yeah. They had this promotion going uh, where if one of our players hits a home run, I have to do a read. That was a dingers for dollars home run, and I basically have to ask the fans to donate anything they can to the player that just hit the home run. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, wow. because we're supporting the team. Yeah. And I'm like, hang on a minute. So this first guy what? hits a home. I'm like, that's like when the guy crosses home plate and then you flip the iPad around and like, all right, 18, 20, or 22%. What would you like to do? <laughs> right. So uh, I was like, you got to be fucking shitting me. Like, no, no, we got to get that read in. I'm like, okay. And I oh found out 50% goes to the guy that hit the home run, 40% goes to the rest of the team, and then 10% goes to charity. Okay. And so the first guy that hits the home run – all I did was Google his name and the word signing bonus. <laughs> $2.5 million. Yeah, right. Like I'm asking like Chuck that makes eleven fifty an hour. You got an extra 30 cents on you? To give a, to give a 20 spot yeah. to this guy that has a probably $2 million in his bank account. Yeah. And so the next guy that hit one, $500,000 signing bonus. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. So when they started making me do the read, I paired up with the music guy. And every time I would do that read, we played In the Arms of an Angel by Sarah <laughs> McLaughlin. <laughs> <laughs> I did that read for three days and they canceled it. <laughs> You're like, oh, man, don't yeah. do that. So I'm like, and that was a dingers for dollars home run. And like, I get it if they're going to uh, give it all to charity. And all you hear is, in the arms <laughs> of an angel. I think that's spot on, though. You're exactly right. Yeah, I was like, this is the stupidest fucking thing. But the thing is, is I kind of get the idea around it. A lot of those players really don't make shit. But the guys that really don't make shit aren't the guys that hit home right, runs. They're exactly. Right, yeah. That's the dumbest part. Exactly. So, so all of you guys that are thinking that, take that into consideration. Yeah, right. yeah. Like, that, a lot of them don't make shit. But a lot of them get signing bonuses oh, and yeah. things like that. Now, if they piss their signing bonus away, that's their fault. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. I was like, that's a little ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway. And then uh, not much else. Uh, like I said, I worked a shitload. Have you um, beat uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima yet? I beat the main story. Okay. I'm going around still killing some Mongols and yeah. uh, uh, liberating a couple camps. But I've pretty much done that and the Icky Islands. So uh -huh. I did get that finished. And then I watched uh, Eric on Netflix, which was weird. Eric. Eric. 
It's got Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, yeah. Where I'm, he's got, like, the kid that goes missing, and it's a fucking giant monster helps him find him or something, and he's a drunk and a drug uh, addict. And it's fucking weird. There's gay people in it. You'd love it, JP. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> he's represented. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's my month, bitch. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it is Men's Health Month, sir. Co- coincidentally, it's also... Gay Pride Month. So if you need your prostate checked, please just DM, slide into my DMs. Touche. Ironically, uh, the AIDS walk is this month. I'm just kidding. kidding. (laughs) It's not really that ironic. I have have no idea what It's not really that ironic. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Alanis Morissette said so. I think it's one of the. Oh, yeah. I think it's one of the lyrics. It's an AIDS wall. (laughs) Gay Pride (laughs) Parade. (laughs) It's an AIDS wall. Isn't it you ironic? Gay pride parade. <laughs> Don't you Jeez think? Louise. At, did you have you watched anything at all that's any good? I felt like this last week was like really not a lot. I watched hockey and Oh dude. I, we're uh, gonna get to that. Yeah, let me just say that I bet it it was like a month ago I was like, whoever wins the series between Dallas and Colorado is probably gonna win the cup. But the New York Rangers are looking strong too. That did not happen. No. no that, <laughs> that did not happen. Absolutely the opposite happened. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, Way to go. what the fuck? Good I'm watching call. the games. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, but yeah, yeah. 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 No, I, I did. I actually watched the, the third period of a hockey game. Yeah, dude, they're fun. But, well, because you got to root. And the playoffs, man. Well, the playoffs unreal. are always good, but yeah. you got to root against Canada, and it just didn't work this time. No, I like Edmonton. Uh, I, I like them now. They've got a good fan base. They sure do. It's my home They've country. got an excellent fan base. Holy shit. Yeah. Those were the nicest pair of tits I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Check this out. If you think those were good. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Fuck, I grew some just so I could play with them. <laughs> and she was cute. I was like, oh, my. Uh, yeah, that happened. Good on her. Yeah, you know what? Good, good on you. Uh, she had sorry. no qualms. No. And she shouldn't have. They were beautiful. <laughs> they were beautiful. I mean, if I'm <laughs> saying that. Wow. Uh, yes, that was that was very nice. Um, I, I am excited about Deadliest Catch. That happens uh, next Tuesday. Speaking of the AIDS walk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. That was good. I liked that. Good that for was, you, that man. That was great. The nice. Deadliest Catch, AIDS. I get it. Yeah, uh, I see what you did. Yeah. That, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, do, you, do we want to get on to Hot Topics? Hot Topics. <laughs> topics yeah there you go <laughs> all right I yeah, that. I might, yeah. yeah no i guess i guess we'll get on to that uh I'm googling I, when the aids walk in. how about uh <laughs> i see you have this on here i just saw this today the angel reese <laughs> oh, <April 27th>. <laughs> 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 i just saw this today and i was just like holy fuck yeah we can like, go ahead and start with that that's one. that's not the only well, reason ladies first yeah caitlin clark isn't the only reason that people watch the wmba Nobody's watching the WNBA. <laughs> uh, and I, Caitlin Clark is the only, only reason, reason that anyone is watching it whatsoever. 100%. Yeah. You, stupid, stupid yeah. You, you stupid, stupid broad. You stupid, stupid broad. You are out of your fucking mind if yeah, you dude. honestly think that anybody is paying attention. How do I know that? Look at the attendance for all of the other fucking teams. Guess who I didn't know? Guess what? I didn't know who Angel Reese was until, <laughs> until I, saw I saw that, that. video today. She was the one that was going up against her if that played for LSU. And she did the fucking and thing. She that did those things. That's who that is. That's okay. who that was. She See, did Caitlin Clark but, shit back to her, and they're like, "Oh, that's classless." Oh uh, well, the <laughs> thing, that bitch did it like three times the week before, and you're like, "Ah, oh, what a competitor." No, but I can say this: the only reason why I know about this is because of people with like showing video of Caitlin Clark, and she looks like she's doing a pretty solid job. Uh, I only think she scored like six points the other night, and I'm just like, "You've got to be fucking kidding me!" Why are we talking about this? But I, there was this one fucking chick in the game that like. Per- purposefully goes up and practically decks the shit out of her just like hip checks her and pushes her to the ground when she's like cheap shot like what the fuck this chick has that's legit- what we need yeah this chick has legitimately brought more fans to your fucking game than you have ever been in in your life do you guys remember roller games I, it was like roller derby back I remember, in the day i remember something uh, like that it was were, on there spike was a bunch tv of different teams yeah this was on fox i think back okay the, but yeah i was pretty young then so you guys probably wouldn't remember it sure but i remember when I they think brought they it back do something like that 
that would probably get more viewership. Yeah. Well, Put it on TNT fuck, or some yeah, shit, dude. you know? I, I say they fight. Yeah. I see Caitlin Clark, and I just think of Antonio Brown's tweet where he was like, I, you know she keeps it hairy. <laughs> Me fucking, that's all I think of. I did forget there is one thing I did do this week, or this not this past week, and the weekend before. Yeah. Uh, our friend uh, in comedy, Romy Lee, had passed away in January, mm-hmm. and they had a celebration of life for him, and they had a roast. Oh, nice. He wanted to be roasted. Um, and so I went up, and well, they, there was like... Well, they put him in the furnace, or what? You don't know what a roast is? Yeah, of course I know what a okay. roast. I was okay. asking if he was cremated dipshit. Oh. It's part of the cow. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I went up, and uh, I did the roast. Uh, Wiz was supposed to go, but apparently Wiz had like uh, some issues, health issues, so he wasn't able to go. But I went up, and they're like, don't hold back. Be mean. Don't hold back. And uh, that's, it was his, at his sister's house. Like, that's, so they had a PA system and everything. And wow. uh, so there was like six of us, six or seven of us. And I was like, all right. And then the first guy goes up, and he doesn't say anything really mean, just shares some stories. And then I go up, and I was mean. Tears him to <laughs> fucking pieces. <laughs> and then <laughs> nobody else was mean. Everybody else just shared stories. Oh, way to go, buddy. So... <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out good. Uh, I think my closing joke was that uh, now that Romy has passed away, uh, I know that he's probably up in the afterlife uh, hanging out with some of his biggest influences and role models, people like Prince, uh, Sam Kinison, and Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yikes. So, yeah, uh, that one didn't get as big of a laugh. <laughs> I liked it. So, I, did. I think Romy would have liked it. I know Romy would have yeah, liked dude. it. Yeah, dude. So, but I did hear uh, one of the stories that one of the guys told, Austin Arbogast uh, out of Topeka had told this story, and I thought it was fucking too good not to tell. Uh, He said that he was doing a show uh, with Romy. They were the only two white faces in the show. Scotty, you'd have hated it. Uh, (laughs) And uh, including most of the comics, they were the only two white ones. And there was a Peruvian girl that was dark-skinned, and she decided to close her set with the N-word. Oh, oh, no. And it was like, he said, it's like, I'm an N-word. You're an N-word. I'm, and like trying to relate to the, and it did not work good. And she oh. said it probably like four times. Did she? So, smart. So did the, she hard R that shit? Yeah. I think so. Oh, no. I, that part I'm not for sure. Oh. But uh, Austin <laughs> Austin says that then uh, Romy gets up on stage, and the, the host, uh, he was a black dude. His name was Ed. And he goes, hey, Ed. <laughs> How many, or because Ed goes up, and first, let me let me backtrack. Ed goes up after she gets off stage and goes, I think you just used all your N-word passes for the year. <laughs> right, yeah. Right? And so then Romy gets up right after and goes, hey, Ed, how many N-word passes do I get? <laughs> <laughs> because KU's playing Kentucky this weekend, and I think I'm going to run out by the end of the first half. <laughs> I was like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> 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 God damn it. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have been there. Oh, That's funny. fuck. Oh, that dude was something else. I did a show with him in uh, Norton, Kansas, and it was back in 2008, like, with swine flu, and that was all going around, and he had probably one of the funniest fucking jaw-dropping retorts that I've ever heard. Uh, he there was uh, he was doing a joke. It was back when the Holiday Inn Express commercials were out. Yeah, yeah. And so he's like, I think I got a touch of the swine flu. He goes, I, I haven't been south of the border, but I did fuck a fat Mexican chick at a Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets a laugh. And there's this old white dude with these three Mexican guys. Uh, the Mexican guys didn't really speak much English at all. That's um, weird. They were there all day. <laughs> all day. It just so happened that the comedy show happened upon them. They were there all fucking day at the bar, hammered drunk. And then Romy says something about practice and safe sex. And this guy stands up. This the white guy does. He goes, "That's good because we don't need no more sorry some bitches like you out there." And Ooh. Romy goes, "Excuse me." And he goes, "You're fucking racist." And Romy pops back with, "Sir, I'm not racist. Two of my best friends are in jail." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh God, damn it!" <laughs> oh, that's that's bad. Uh, and those Mexican dudes were the coolest thing ever because they they had to throw them all out. And the Mexican dude comes back in and go and gets Romy, and he's just like. We're sorry. He drunk. Like, it was <laughs> fucking great. Ah, uh, shit. Well, might as well move on with the show. Uh, uh, Angel Hernandez, speaking of Mexican guy, he's retiring. Yeah. From the game of baseball. And thank fucking God. But, so, yeah. I mean, 
some you can only play for so fucking long, man. No. <laughs> 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 I don't think JP knows who Angel Hernandez is. I think he does. Okay. I think he made a joke. Maybe. Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think um, he made a ha ha. Well, I mean, a he, funny. For you what laugh. it's for what it's worth, he tries to make every game about himself. Uh, with he the, tries uh, to make everything about himself, whether he's on the field or not. Fucking true. It's so fucking true. But the thing you is, you know what, man? Fuck you, by sorry. the way. <laughs> hey, you I wasn't give sure. me zero fucking credit. No, I give you a lot. Of credit. No, I, today, just today alone. Again, I'm in a bad mood. You know what, man? I'm, you're gonna piss me off, and I'm just gonna quit. <laughs> Please. We're gonna quit. Please, okay. yeah, we're quitting. <laughs> yeah. I've had it too, JP. I've had enough. <laughs> I have had it up to here, here and here. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Um, but the thing is, step is that, into my office, right? Because you're fucking fired. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, I don't know, man. I kind of think that uh, a lot of the umpires are not doing very well this year either. Do you, have you seen some of this shit? No, dude, it'll you never. Been any? Oh well, actually, uh, this weekend I watched our manager get ejected three times. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Holy nice. shit! The one before the game started. Nice. nice. Uh, they had a play where it was a fly ball. The guy tagged from second to third. Uh, the other team threw it to second, and they called our guy out and said he left early. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, our manager comes unglued, gets ejected. Uh, the next day, they're having they're exchanging lineup cards at, at home, home plate, plate, and the umps are all right there as they're exchanging lineup cards. And I think he said something basically along the fact of, "Did you watch the tape last night?" <laughs> and the guy, the ump, was like, "No, I didn't need to." And he goes, "Really?" He goes, "You didn't watch it?" And he goes, "You know, there's black, there's white, there's gray, and then there was that." <laughs> and, and he's like, "My guys watch film to get better. Don't you want to watch film and get wow. better?" <laughs> like that was completely nice. wrong. Thrown the fuck out. Like, <laughs> nice, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Fucking beautiful, dude. I. That was the most. It was the worst umpiring I've ever fucking wow. seen. Well, well and that's what's that's what's fucking sad is because it's 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 bad. As much as as fans bitch about how like even balls the and NFL's strikes and the shit. Same way, man. Yeah, but They're I think, just so are, bad. Are we dude. getting to the point to where we're just getting older and we're noticing how bad they are? No. Uh, or is it just getting significantly it's just worse? Significantly worse, man. I, I will say in the NFL, I don't know if I read right, if it was the, I didn't read a ton into it, so I could have been duped by a headline, which is possible. But I thought I read somewhere that they said that they're investigating putting a tracking thing in the ball, so you know. I think they've if been doing that first, for a couple years. No, so you, no. So no. you know if it's a first down or not, so you don't have to fucking measure anymore, and it would get rid of the chains and all that. Which I know, Scotty, you don't, you love chains, but. Um, <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> but, Dick. Uh, so, but now that was where he keeps all his people on the boat. <clears throat> no kids in the basement. Either way. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, the only reason why I was asking is because I, I think eventually, I, I think a lot of the fans are going to be totally okay with having an automated strike zone. It should be there. I don't think it's there yet. I, I, no, I mean, the technology oh, isn't. It oh, is. I don't know about that. Well, here's the only thing. The only thing that they're having a problem with because it's got to be on the field. That's where that's where they have like the strike zone yeah. the problem is that they can't figure out yet is how to change that strike zone because guys are shorter and taller and so they have to have a way to change it but other than that it's pretty accurate they were able to do it in minor league ball and they tried a different ways of doing it but what they don't want is to slow the game down and have a challenge every single time and i get that but eventually it's just going to be the umpire standing off from the fucking plate so he doesn't get fucking hurt going strike ball and i mean that's gonna suck but i, I think that how shitty the umpires have been over the last couple of years it's like okay I'm, I'm kind of bending to this and i'm a fucking baseball traditionalist so that's just me yeah i think it needs to happen um i've yeah i've read that in minors it's not quite it's not perfected yet yeah. so they're not going to put anything out there that's <clears throat> not yeah um but yeah that's yeah god forbid that we don't put anything out there that's not completely perfected yeah like the three-cylinder engine <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> or the COVID vaccine. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah, no shit on I that mean, one. I mean, God forbid. Ah, uh, Lord. At uh, least people aren't going to drop dead because the strike zone <laughs> got rushed. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, hey, I'm surviving. I've had 13 vaccines. <laughs> well, oh, my God. You're going to die soon. You're a miracle. Look at me. I'm going to die anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. What's it going to be? Shit Heart disease and a vaccine. Yeah. Take your pick. Oh, uh, boy. Well, I hope Take it's neither. Um, <laughs> but tomato, tomato. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. 
Uh, next one, uh, the Tri-City Chili Peppers are the very first team to ever put on a cosmic baseball game. What the fuck is I that? I only watched like a... Holy I watched like about a shit. minute and a half clip on TikTok. That was fucking it looked awesome. Cool. It, was, it looked cool. The whole stadium is dark and black lighted. Everybody's wearing neon colors. And so everything is lit up. The base paths, the fucking ball, everything. And you would think that seems like it would be hard. It was not. They said once the guys relaxed, it was like watching a game. But all the lights were off. It was fucking awesome. It was like everybody was a goddamn neon light. It was so cool. Huh. But I would have had a blast. But and like there was one black guy that was hiding out in center field. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was. He was in a costume. He didn't smile or anything, so you couldn't see him. He played Lenter Field. Yeah, he was like left yeah. and center. Yeah. yeah, how was that ball moving? Like they had four outfielders. I swear. You just see a ball floating through the air. It was cool. It's like it fucking cool. angels in the outfield. Yeah, out right. there. Yeah. So fucking right. funny. No, you should, if you haven't seen it, Derek, you should look it up. That's like it a was great, actually pretty cool. I, I I mean, after seeing that, I'm like. Oh, this van of bananas are going to do something like that oh, at yeah. least once because right. they're they're into trying shit like that out and they just want to put on a show. That was a fucking show. It was a lot of fun to watch. Thought it was super cool. But yeah, I know we've already talked about it, but I guess uh, the Stanley Cup Finals are going to be the Edmonton Oilers and the and the Florida Pan- Panthers. I can't talk. Uh, and uh, again, I, again, God bless that Oilers fan. Good lord. Whew. That might be starting to root for some Canadians after that shit. I, That's I mean, right. I, I just I don't hate them near as much. I just uh, I I thought I did, but well, I, we we don't whoop. like you. I, I, that's okay. I don't really like Weird. a lot of you. You know what? I don't like a lot of you either. I like her though. She was just fine. Uh, but d- did you have anything that you want to talk about? I know that you probably been watching basketball. Who, me? Yeah, uh, I've been watching minor league baseball. Okay, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what it. I've been fucking. That's all I've been watching. Yeah. I haven't had time. I watched the end of the conference finals like the last few minutes of each game yeah and that was about it and now like i don't care about either team in the finals so I, I probably won't watch it i don't i don't like i don't watch the nba anymore but i don't I, either i see highlights and i i see like uh luka and jokic fucking with each other dude, all the time and dude, that's Jokic, cool. the shit that he has been saying is oh, I have, fucking i haven't seen it oh it's gold okay dude, just look it up on tiktok dude. Okay, all right i mean fucking gold well my my fucking uncle just actually shocked me the other day and i have no idea but he go he goes i i hate uh luca more than i hate lebron james and he hates lebron wow. james. wow yeah uh he's like me when it comes to that and i'm yeah, like he doesn't like why? black people either no <laughs> luca's white family <laughs> no i'm talking you were oh, i was talking no. about lebron james god damn you it you said he was like you stop i no, i love black people but mm, yeah I, I do yeah you do anyways You're meanie no but seriously why does it why do meanie. people why would people hate luca I mean, all I've seen of him is like fucking around with with Jokic at the All Star team. I don't. I see he's obviously very good at playing basketball. Why would people hate him? I don't know. I I don't, I don't, don't get it. He's not black. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on, man. I really? think An- Anthony Edwards is probably <laughs> my on, favorite man. player to watch right now. Oh yeah. I fucking love that dude. Okay. So Fair that is that is my new favorite player in the NBA. So let's go to the hockey professional. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup? I said the Dallas Stars. <laughs> well, now. Oh, now I hope Edmonton does, but I don't know. It's, it'll be a good series, I think, either way. I don't know if I can it'll do it. It'll be tough. One hot chick, I don't know, makes up for an entire fucking dumbass country above a, of a party place. I so, love Canada. Uh, nah, I'm good. I, I, I like Have it Have you here. been? I don't want to. Dude, you, know, so, you could it's, snowboard so hard up there. Yeah, what do you mean? Dude, You'd love right. it. You can snowboard so hard down here, and down here's way cooler. We have guns. I'm fine. I like it down here. So there, there's that. Uh, but that is hot topics. What? Too many black people in Canada. <laughs> there's none up there. They're all down here, and I would hang out with all of them. All so right, that's man. right. I believe you. I bet you I hang out with more black people on a weekend than you do. Yes, one hundred percent. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm a bowler, bro. Okay, yeah, they bowl. Black people love bowling. Uh, well, uh, my friends like to go to the fucking skating rink. I'm the one one. I'm the one there. So I beat you. Okay. Yeah. You're the best man. I am. I know. I already know this. I work in sports. So I beat all of you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's baseball. That's like hockey light. Uh, Uh, But anyways, let's move on to never have I ever. We have less of these now, which I'm, I'm kind of happy that we do. I think it's uh, it's a lot more fun to be able to elaborate on these questions. These are great questions. 
Just kidding. No. <laughs> Dude, they should be if there's less of them. You, yeah. th- you would think. Uh, so <laughs> you would think. <laughs> turns out. Turns out. No. Uh, yeah, and every single time I look, never mind, I was going to say something and make fun of one one particular person, but he's got a question on this list, and I'll make fun of him then. Uh, but we're going to kick, you goddamn <laughs> right, I'm going to make fun of him. Uh, uh, but anyways, we're going to kick this off with Never Have I Ever, and uh, yeah, we're going to kick it off with Caleb Hill. He wants <laughs> to know, never have I ever been hit in the nuts so hard that you can sing higher. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think so. Either. Maybe, yeah. I was going to say, I think he's been watching too many cartoons. <laughs> well, I know. Never <clears throat> have I ever been walking down the sidewalk and had an anvil drop. Yeah, down my head. right. Exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> Never have I ever been driving and accidentally drove my car into, into a picture, a picture, painted, picture of a painted of a tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never have I ever <laughs> stuck my finger in the end of a rifle to keep them from shooting me. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, but no, there is some validity into it. I've got never have I ever <laughs> dug a hole all the way to China. <laughs> <laughs> there is some validity to it. If you get hit in the nuts hard enough, you can't breathe. So you don't actually go high. You just can't talk. Oh, yeah. And you're just sitting there just going, hey, hey, you know, but, and that has definitely happened to me. Uh, I've, I've been hitting the nuts with a, well, with a baseball. So, and that really hurt so yes how about you jp one time oh god this guy missed the hole and just rammed it right into my nuts and that that's probably the time i can think of why what was he down by your knees for (laughs) well (laughs) you're damn near 50 man we know dude that's gravity bro That's a good question. That is gravity. I mean, that is totally gravity. Yeah. Okay, no. so have you got to the point whenever you take a shit, your no, bottom of your dude, balls touch the water? No, dude, that doesn't happen. I swear it I does. keep my shit tight. <laughs> okay, what do you do? Keg- ball toner. Ball kegels? Ball yeah. toner. No, we don't do the ball toner anymore. He's, I he's do. He's had a oh, lift. Okay, he's had a lift. Here. Yeah. You Here. do. He's had scrotox. Yeah, yeah dude, scrotox. <laughs> That's a fucking good <laughs> call sure. back. Uh, but no, it definitely is true. Eventually, they're going to sag. And well, event- they haven't started yet. I'm, I'm so shocked. Mine are so already just down there sagging I'm already. Actually, that, I'm actually kind of shocked know. that you're not one of those guys that, like, I don't know, after you get home from work on the weekends or something, that you don't go, like, jogging in joggers and you just have them sticking out of the bottom of your fucking shorts. How do you know I don't? Okay, then, then my, my assumption is correct. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't jog. Derek, have you ever been hitting the balls to, to like bad? Like no, nope, just to where I threw up when all those kids stomped on them. That's about it. <laughs> those kids. Yeah. I remember uh, that story. Yeah. God damn it, nah, man. Poor, yeah. it's, that's why you both, That's fucked up. But hey, you know, know what? what, though? That's why I understand school shooters. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so right. But, and for what it's worth, worth, Derek has turned out to be an excellent human being, an <laughs> excellent husband, a very successful comedian. He's actually won Wheel of Fortune. I think he turned out okay. I Dude. think bullies are very important in this world. What do you want from me? Yeah, man. Yeah. What do you try to get out of them? What? You don't think you're a good person? No. 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 All right. How no. long have you known him? Break fucking You've character. known him longer you than really I have. Don't, you don't think you're a good dude? Oh, I'm a dickhead. Oh, bull fucking shit. Oh, yeah. I almost got in a fight on Christmas over a, over <laughs> road rage. Justifiable. That's yeah, not. It was, it was, I mean, he did have a. Cut. He, he yeah, did have exactly. a cut. <laughs> he, was, he was running over native grass. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> No, but I, I would say... He was say, fucking hunting my opals. Yeah. yeah he knows yeah, that motherfucker. Hunting, hunting, hunting yeah. opal. my opal spot. No, i dead serious. I, I think you're a good person. Of course if he's I, a good guy. Dude, if I, if I needed a fucking favor, I mean, you'd say no, but I would at least try. <laughs> yeah. And, and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's not 100% no. I'm but, the fucking king of needing favors, bro. Yeah, I know. All the and, fucking time. And how many times... Worst, how, I would not you, answer my calls. How many times... You me. I know. I need it done right. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, you're a good person. So the guys that stepped on your nuts probably taught you a lesson. So go bullies. Bullies are okay. We had a, a dude in the meeting the, or at the stadium like the other day. There's a guy that works there that fucking he sucks, dude. I, <laughs> Don't drop a name. I'm not. Okay. I'm not going to say he sucks. I'm going to say I get frustrated with him. I get very, okay. very fucking frustrated okay. with him. And uh, He's a Down syndrome kid. He's 13. Our, our guy that runs our room is like going on and on and on about how, what a – you know, if he, he just works really hard. And if you see him, just give him a, a way to go or, hey, good job. And just randomly, this is all out of nowhere. And he's just, like, sucking on this guy's dick verbally for, like, probably two minutes. And I finally just was like, hey, 
what's going on, man? So you got naked pictures of you or something? <laughs> like I in fucking full meeting mode. I just yeah. Hey, shut the fuck up for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. No, yeah. yeah, it needs to be called out sometimes. Uh, next one comes in from Reese Newland. Oh shit! He wants to know: Never have I ever dropped a baby. I I have. <laughs> have you really? Yes. <laughs> you are a dick. <laughs> uh huh. I was a kid though. Oh. I uh, don't remember much of it. I know it was a hardwood floor. <laughs> uh, but I remember being able to hold the baby, and I was like five or six. So thankfully it didn't fall far. <laughs> well, that's uh, good. But I did fucking drop it, and they cry. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, even from that short a distance, they, they, they don't like it. More, <laughs> not one damn. They bit. don't like it. Maybe it's a better question. Did you do it on purpose? I don't think I did. <laughs> he has to contemplate that. Shit. Yeah, I well, I was five, man. It's a repressed memory. I don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah, but I think I did, and I'm pretty sure it was an accident. Yeah. Uh, I, I dropped one off of the top rope in a WWE match. No, I, I do not hold babies. I don't. Everybody asks, it's like, Hey, you want to hold the new baby? And I'm like, no, you're like, I'm not allowed within 300 feet of that. Thing. <laughs> no, I hold them for about three seconds before I swallow them. No, oh, that's on that one. gross. Absolutely disgusting. I hold them for just a minute. Sometimes uh, I gargle. That's uh, no, but I don't, I'm one of those people. I don't, I don't want to hold your kid. I honestly, genuinely don't care. Uh, my my least favorite thing are when people want to try to show me pictures of their kids. I'm more interested of the pictures I work of with your this, dogs. I work with this lady, and she's like, my grandson Fuck and those this people. grand. Jack. Fuck them. Yeah, I, I'm like, dude, I really don't ever want to get to that age where the only thing that I have to fucking talk about is my grandkid. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what. I mean, in this case, he's a pretty cool kid. He's a pretty good kid. Yeah, it's fine. But. In most cases, who gives a fuck about your grandkid? Nobody. Nobody. And your grandkid isn't that fucking special. Yeah. He's not. She's not. I'm the same way with other things, too. Like, in the automotive world, I have people that want to show me their race car. And you want to see my I have car? told people multiple times that are like that. It's like, listen, I don't give a shit. And every time I always have this one guy that wants to show me something new on his car. And I continue to tell him, listen, I don't want to see it. I don't give a shit. So I'm out. But I'm the same way with kids. You They're, should be like, I don't know anything about cars. I, no, I do. Is it me, though? Or do you think that all babies look the same? Uh, no. I think no. they do. I, you put two babies side no. by side, and, and then you switch them, and I go out of the room. They're st- I don't know. No. I can't tell. No, no, no. I, I, they, they. A lot of people say that there's no such thing as an ugly baby. That's not true. Holy fuck, they're wrong. Yeah. They are wrong. It there doesn't. Are some I'm ugly not saying. Babies out there. I'm not saying it happens all the time. I'm saying well, it definitely happens. But it definitely happens. Therefore, they do not all look the same. So that's I, that. I remember waiting tables, and somebody would bring their kid in, and it would be dressed in like fucking yellow. And I'd be like, oh, how right old? Right now, I fuck it how, up all the time. I'm like, how old is she? And they're like, he. he. <laughs> and I'm like, well, fuck, maybe pick blue. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't get all fucking yeah. upset. I did also spill hot marinara on a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was on purpose, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and, and that baby was wearing yellow. Yeah, we were just like, that birthmark was there before. Yeah. I swear yeah. to God. Yeah. That was- hot marinara. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I did do that. That was an accident, too. I was waiting tables. Yeah. All right. Uh, I know you guys were going the other direction. Like, that fat fucker can eat some spaghetti. I was waiting tables. Uh, and last one, never have I ever, uh, comes in from Wayne Fargnoli. He wants to know, never have I ever walked into a glass door? Oh, 100% I've done that. <laughs> At the ca- I, was, <laughs> I was going to, at, at the casino in Oklahoma at first council when they first got their poker room uh-huh. and i mean it's literally <laughs> the, there's no there's not even a handle at this point right it's literally just glass doors that you push open i and paid to see that i fucking dude walked right into that motherfucker and then had to go in there and play poker people were like fuck i hope he sits at my table like this motherfucker yeah it was bad Uh, and i'm sure i'm sure i've done it other times but that's the most memorable i have not i don't go to clean enough places to be fooled yeah right i i have not done it i've had a buddy that walked right through my fucking screen door (laughs) and i was like what the fuck is wrong with you i didn't see it i'm like Uh, god have another one (laughs) 
Uh, I have never like walked into a door, a glass door, but I cannot tell you how much I enjoy watching somebody who thinks it's a push or no, sorry, thinks it's a, a pull and it's, and it's a, a push, push. Yeah. or the other way, way around. around. Yeah. But my favorite I've ever seen was somebody that was walking into Quip Trip uh, and it was it was a long time ago because Quick Trick now because of this reason probably they go both, both ways. ways yeah. The door just like JP they yeah. go both ways. Yeah. But this particular door that they went into was not a push. And when they I first thought started it was working, yeah. When I first started working there, they they were they, pulled. They were pulled, and people would oh, push. Thunderstorm. Oh, oh shit. Oh thunderstorm. I was making sure we were still recording. Oh, oh man, yeah. I hope your car's okay. Dude, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Keep laughing, assholes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucker, what do we got Dude, here? I don't uh, know. I hope it's big hail. Uh, yeah, me too. Because I am hail. out of here. If it is, you guys are doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're not even supposed to get a storm. Yeah, we are. Are we? Are yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Whoops. Pretty yep. good size storm, actually. Oh, okay. Well, hey, it's but fine. it's only supposed to last for like an hour. Oh, uh, okay. That's okay then. That's fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's fucking funny. Are we getting some shit? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, guys. I mean, the power just flashed. We're obviously getting something. Well, everything's fine. I think we'll I think we'll do okay. We'll be fine. All right. Pull uh, fucking your wife's car out of the garage. Pull mine out. <laughs> well, I figured you'd probably want to do that, you narcissistic prick. Uh -huh. uh, but now we get to move on to JP's hey, favorite. Hey, I'm a good person, remember? <laughs> yeah, are, all you of a sudden he's a narcissistic prick. Yeah, yeah, but now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is that where we draw the line. Uh, there was not as many of these as I would have liked to choose from. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you why. No. Because the, the first one. He's really freaking out over here, no, man. my phone just went off. Yeah. Okay. Well, the very first person that we are going to go to is a guy who's, who's uh, I don't know. He's an acquaintance. He's an acquaintance. He likes to talk a whole bunch of shit on the internet. Uh, and uh, he bowls with you. Yeah. Well, I mean, not with I did me, not but. submit anything. <laughs> <laughs> Because I am an acquaintance of yours. Uh, that's I, true. I talk a lot of shit, and I yeah. bold with Seems JB. right, yeah. I've gone and I've watched fights with him, and, and every time I watch fights with him, I pick the guy who won, and he is pissed off that I was right. Um, I, I know more than he does about sports. I know more than he does about fighting, uh, but he still wants to talk shit. Mr. Keith Litsky, everybody. Uh, he wants to know, where do you draw the line? How many, how many McDonald's chicken nuggets can you eat in one sitting? I can't eat that many, but I can swallow them whole. Okay, that's fantastic. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. I think 40. 40? I've done 40. Oh. I just wanted to make sure we were still recording. Yeah, I was looking at it. You <laughs> laughed at me for in the beginning, you fuck stick. I was like, I was like, wait a minute. They uh, had buy 20, get 20 there for a while. Uh huh. And I ate all 40. I can't eat twice, a actually. single chicken nugget from McDonald's. No. Not a fucking hmm. one. I know. They're good, man. I know that they say that that's uh, chicken breast. They're full of fucking shit. The ones in Japan taste like chicken. It's I weird. believe it. Mm -hmm. I right, believe it because they don't have all the fillers and fucking. Yeah, yeah. Their health codes are like no preservatives, no bullshit, and uh, that's probably. Have right. you ever seen how they're made? The chicken nuggets. Oh yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, but they're Absolutely good as fuck though. Fuck that. I am not a. <laughs> I am not gonna eat a single one of those all motherfuckers. Right. So no, absolutely. Derek. Not. Derek. Dude, uh, I, could, I mean, I could probably house some. But uh, I'm gonna say the most I've ever eaten in one sitting is 20. Like I did, a, I used to eat 20 piece nuggets oh, all yeah, the time. So that's too. the most I've ever done. But I'm, I feel like I could probably put down 40 or 50 of them shits. Oh yeah, <laughs> but Christ. 20 is the most I've ever eaten. Wow. Yeah. What? Barbecue sauce? No, I eat them plain. Oh, do you really? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah oh, that's plain. worse. He loves yeah. the preservatives that are in that shit. Yeah, yeah. I like. Bar, I like get all the sauces. The sauce doesn't wipe the preservatives off. Sky. Right, I was it's not like, oh, it's not like oh, get the oh, preservatives off. I the sauce. Here. It's fine now. Yeah. Wow. Plus, I feel like less of a fat piece of shit if I'm not like using a packet of sauce and nugget. You know, mm, like, right? That's nice. That's what I do. <clears throat> all right. Uh, well, that's that. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. Uh, he wants to know how far in advance did you tell your boss that you are quitting? Depends on your job and how yeah. much you like it. We've had this question before, and, yeah. I, and I wanted to do it again. Okay. I think I've changed my mind. You're quitting. You're telling your boss right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to let you guys know. I'm going to be a professional. I'm out. I've got this YouTube thing I'm going to do with baseball. Yeah, right. I've, <laughs> I've got way too much going on to be working here. I'm a YouTube sensation. Scotty yeah. German. Scotty no, German, have heard YouTube of me. sensation. No, absolutely not. He's got not. cards made. Absolutely not. No, no, and no. 
I uh, I changed my mind. I used to say, always give it two weeks notice so you don't burn bridges. Fuck the bridge. Fuck that bridge. Yeah, dude. Nobody they can, cares anymore. Bridge. They can fire you without notice. Shouldn't yeah. they give you a two-week notice that they're going to fire you? I heard Shouldn't it. they be like, hey, just so you know, in a couple weeks, we're going to go in a different direction. That's a good fucking point. Either Derek. do that or pay you severance. So I heard something really, really uh, cool on uh, some video the other day, and it was... About how babies are made? No, oh. it was it was about, um, you, you know, good managers, if you do have to let somebody go, they always like to let them go on a Friday, which is apparently a douchebag fucking thing. And the main reason why is because they have to then start searching for another job over the weekend, as opposed to letting them go on a Monday. And the other thing is, is they just worked an entire week yeah. for your ass, and you fire them on a Friday. Instead, if you fire them on a Monday, they get paid for the remainder of the week and are looking for a job while they're still getting paid because they have not like a pension, but uh, workman's comp or not workman's comp or whatever the fuck it is. But that's what needs to be done. So therefore, I have changed my fucking mind. And I think that if you want to quit your job, you don't have to give them a two weeks. Hey, thanks for that question, Braxton. You fucking moron. Well, what do you guys think? I just I just hated everything you just said. You you wouldn't even tell the motherfuckers. You just would stop showing up. I've done it. I know. I've, I've, I've heard. I fucking that. worked at Grandy's for two hours. What the fuck is Grandy's? It's a chicken place. It, well, it used of. to be. Yeah. That sounds like, like a great handy. Oh, is dude, what it sounds that like. Food it's like a fucking, handy from your grandpa. Yeah, it's a grandy. Right, right. It's a grandy. <laughs> oh, all right. They had the best rolls ever. Oh, Lord. I don't know. Have you seen the? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I just left that one. I just went out to take out the trash, and instead, I just got in my car and left. Wow. I think the only one I ever quit on the spot was when I was working at Super. I ended up going back to the job. Really? And I went to Supercar Guys, and I, I didn't get along with the guy that was like my team lead at the time, which I get along with him now. But at the time, I did not like him, and I don't think he liked me. And I walked up to him, and I was just like, I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, okay, where are you going? I'm going to go home. <laughs> and he goes, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> he goes, all right. What, what's going on? I was like, I'm gonna go work for Ronnie. That's was the guy's name. And he yeah. goes, oh, you don't want to work here anymore. And this guy hated fucking Ronnie. Mm-hmm. And so Ronnie went to a different dealership I was at, or that I worked at. I went to go work there, and he fucking hate. Oh, that was that made it way worse. Good for you. And he was like, okay. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go work for Ronnie. I'll see you later. And I'd already had all my shit I put in a box. I just fucking walked out. <laughs> I'd never wow. left a dealer. I'd never left a job like that. Mm. And then uh, I ended up coming back there like six months later. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good job. Good job, buddy. Way to follow through. All right. And last one. Uh, this one comes in from Cody Duffy. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? What is something you would see on the internet where... Uh, that's worded weird. What is something you would see on the internet that would be enough uh, for to stop watching the internet for for the day? Pink sock. Pink what? Pink, Pink sock. sock. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm out of this joke. Oh well. Uh, that is uh, whenever you are butt fucking someone oh. and you pull their rectum out. Yeah. No, oh, my right. God. Yep. Prolapse. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Pink sock. That's enough. I'm out. <laughs> Oh that my might be god. enough internet, period. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. Wiz told me about the pink sock, <laughs> and uh, I've never Googled it, but that's because I want to keep using the internet. <laughs> I'm going to go with Blue Waffle. Okay. Uh, that's enough to make me want to stop. All of us are on the same fucking page. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mine is two girls, one yeah, cup. Okay. Yeah. I saw four uh, seconds of that. <laughs> yeah, that that's all was you a, need to see. That was yep. Enough. As soon as I see. saw the turd, I'm like, click. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it on that. While we're, exp- while we're, we're we should, uh, you know, continue. Do you have any more? No. Okay. So what? much for that. Yeah, I mean, uh, there, there's not munting on the internet, Scotty. Right. That's uh, why it's fun to talk about. Right. Uh, okay. You never record that. No. There probably if you is. Do you only share with a very few select people? You, you can probably find side pocketing. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely yeah. find that. There are some YouTube channels out there or or like some really fucked up shit that you can find on the internet, obviously like Twitter. 
And um, anything I'm, to do with Trump, that's enough internet. Uh, no, that didn't bother me. I can't watch uh, the. I'm more MAGA shit. now than ever. Uh, well, oh, go people, fuck yourself. Some people are. You know, well, they're fucking stupid. I, I anymore. I I don't even. I don't care. I can't watch the pimple popping shit. Oh, oh neither can I. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. That had like its whole thing, like uh, Doctor <laughs> Pimple Popper, and they're like, yeah. "Oh, we love it," and I'm like, yeah. no, "No, no, dude. Oh, that's so fucking gross, dude." I remember when I was like fucking 19 years old and my stepdad fucking was like, I got this fucking thing on my oh, back. No. I'll give you $50 if you can fucking pop it. No. And I'm like, and I put a towel over it and I'm trying and I can't and I can't and it's not doing anything. Oh, no. And then uh, all of a sudden just this green shit oh, just God, oozes. No. And I was like, no. yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, I, I can't. <clears throat> I had to stop. No. I, what, at, at 18 years old, back in 2000, 50 mm. bucks was a lot of money. It was not enough. It was not. And no. he had his girlfriend oh. come over at the time and do it. I was going to fucking vomit. Like, I could oh. not do it. Oh, Jesus. No, dude. Oh, no, dude. Just sh stuff like that is the most disgusting thing in the world to me. Like, I, I work with a technician who likes fucking with me all the fucking time because I'm, I know I'm easy to fuck with. But he, he has an abnormal amount of earwax buildup that he loves to use his fucking Q-tip oh. and then, like, chase oh. me around with it gross fucking disgusting dude. dude i'd hit that dude in the nuts oh yeah. man he likes to For take sure. he likes to take shits take pictures and send it to people it's like dude you are fucking disgusting sounds like a great dude uh he he is he's my best friend at the dealership yeah, good. good for you <laughs> anyways ladies and gentlemen that is uh jp's favorite uh part of the episode that's where i draw the line time to, to take a moment and thank all of you guys for participating in Monday, Friday. Sincerely do appreciate those of you par who participate. Uh, I will say this. If you uh, keep putting the same question out there uh, and it has not been chosen, a... please get some new ones. All right. Yeah. Uh, now we're going to move on to questions and preguntas, and we're going to kick this one off with Charlie Mann. Uh, he wants to know, what is a summer camp you would not send your kids to? Pray the gay away. <laughs> Dude, that's the only camp my kids are going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah JP, you are no. never going to have kids anyway. How do you know? I don't know. Exactly. You might. I might. That would be a mistake. That would. <laughs> I can't even take care of myself. <laughs> I know. That would be, uh, that'd be <clears throat> a, an actual rather uh, good adventure for you. Maybe it'll teach you responsibility and stuff. No. No? No. Uh, the, only be the only camp I would ever send my kid to in the first place would be like a baseball camp or a sports camp of some time to try to improve on anything. I would not send my kid to your golf camp. Uh, that would actually... Oh man, I don't know. That would be a fun camp. I would send myself to that camp. Yeah. Fuck my kid. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and just. Oh, go he to might. Mine. He just might. Nah, I think JP's not that kind of a guy. See, you know what? Whenever the bad jokes are divvied up to you. No, I don't mind because oh. I'm not a kid fucker. You are a racist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a difference there. Wow. I'm not a kid fucker, oh, so it doesn't bother right. me. That's good shit. <laughs> you know, see how I don't get all irate and mm -hmm. freak out. And, oh yeah. Uh, all right, uh, yeah. Derek. How about uh, you? Band camp, because clarinet never got anybody <laughs> yeah, pussy. That's right. <laughs> so you don't need to go uh, to that. But a flute did. Yeah. Lizzo. Uh, <laughs> yuck. No, I'm You want to smell her no, flute, Amer Scotty? American pie, yeah. man. Yeah. I dare you to smell Lizzo's flute. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. That's That's disgusting. a piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one comes in from Jason Dean. Oh, fuck. Pia Centini. I'm pretty sure I see that guy. Penis and teeny. That yep. guy's got to throw out a first pitch if I've ever <laughs> seen one. That is JDP. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he wants to know, is it gay if you eat a Snickers bar upside down so the veiny part is on your tongue? Dude, that's a hilarious <laughs> fucking question. And the answer is yes. Yeah, good. It's exactly like sucking a dick. Oh, I feel that's the, that's, yeah. Dude, that's, that's a great fucking question. <laughs> you know what? I don't know who this guy is, but I like him. Well, uh, Penis and Teeny wants uh, apparently to uh, hang out with you. That's there, your JP. favorite kind of martini, too. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, Penis and Teeny. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I have, Dude, I have never shaken, not stirred. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I've never thought of that. Me either, but that's I, fucking hilarious. I've never even. I don't even I like will now. Snickers. Dude, I don't even usually eat Snickers, but I'm gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> Is it more gay if you eat it with both hands? Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, it's actually. <laughs> I think you have to do it where you just suck the chocolate off of it. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Uh, yeah, I've never thought of it. I did see something the other day that shouldn't make me extremely angry that did. I saw a dude on social media who uh, ate a Kit Kat bar the wrong fucking just way. Just fucking. Just, just yeah. like a fucking bar. Nice. Damn it. That makes me fucking angry. Uh, how about you, Derek? What do you think? I just said my idea. I think it is it more gay if you eat it with both hands. Okay. Yeah, so all that's, right. That's fair. my answer. Okay. Good enough. Uh, next one comes in from Benji Varnum. He wants to know, what is the most dangerous thing you've ever done? Holy fuck. I, I don't, I don't want to know what JP has done. I'll tell you mine. Okay. What do you got? Uh, I went skydiving. I think that's pretty safe. Did you go Rocky Mountain climbing? <laughs> Did you go 2.7 seconds? I've been, ro- I've been rock climbing. Fu Manchu. <laughs> I've been rock climbing in the Rocky Mountains. Oh, look at that. So I've done that. But, uh, Did you love deeper? <laughs> uh, Speak sweeter. Going out with that. Uh, uh, all right. But yeah, skydiving is probably the most dangerous thing I did. And I feel bad for that poor guy that was attached to me. Because <laughs> 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 if you're fed, yeah, Tarek, I was just screaming. Um, I was depressed when I went, so I really didn't oh, care you the wanted to open. die. Uh, you had scissors and you just <laughs> cutting yeah, all the yeah, shoots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I felt bad because, like, if you weighed more than like a certain weight, then you had to pay an extra like dollar two dollars a pound or something like that and i was like 20 pounds overweight when i did it for the, for that so 60 dollars later so uh yeah it was like 50 <laughs> um but i felt bad because i'm sure that probably did not feel good on that dude's back <laughs> but, uh, wow because i was nice. like you know i you can go you can go take like a it's weird dude because you can take like a three hour class and go by yourself or you watch really? this, or you watch this five minute video, and then they just uh, strap hook somebody some up guy, to somebody, yeah. and you go. I and, feel like uh, I'd be good at being the guy strapped to people. <laughs> oh, no, they so want repeat wrong. business. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but well, they'll get it. That's so what you should be. It was JP. like a, it was like a five minute fucking deal, and then they're like, "All right, now practice falling out of a plane." All right, we're going to take you up. And I'm oh, like, oh, man. shit. I didn't want to do the one by myself because I'm probably going to have questions. <laughs> yeah. I have nobody to ask. Is I'm for like, which cord is it? Like, oh, I don't want to yeah. do that. So uh, what happens if it doesn't open? <laughs> yeah. And you die. Yeah. Spread your body out so when you hit, it absorbs yeah. the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. That is one thing I will never do. Skydiving? I will never skydive. Dude, it was the fuck. When they, when, that was the best fucking thing I've ever done. I it was fucking no. incredible. First I of all, I don't, it. I don't like planes, A, B. Well, then get out of it. No. <laughs> Just no, jump. But I don't. Also, the reason why I don't like planes is I'm afraid of being sucked out of one to, and falling to my death. Don't it, fly Boeing. <laughs> then you'll be fine. Yeah. You're fine. Then you'll be fine. Airbus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's definitely not something uh, I ever want to do. What about you, JP? What a, what's something that you ever drive by? You what? Drive by? Like it, you? Pers- you? Oh, you did one. Oh, I was a bad kid. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I'm All a right. bad kid. Wow. Like I hung around with uh, a certain gang. <laughs> Uh-oh. I guess like like my junior senior year of high school, and then uh-huh. probably a year or two after. Uh-huh. Uh, we did a lot of bad shit, man, and that's probably one of the one of the most dangerous, scariest things I've done. We got oh wow, we got they drove by, they did a drive by on our house on my friend Chris on oh, his, wow. on his house, and then we all jumped into the car and fucking chased them all down and fucking got into a battle. His one the his dad my buddy's dad ended up shooting and killing one of them oh, had God. to uh go to fucking court he ended up getting off for it oh wow whatever but his buddy ricky actually had a full ride to usc no. <laughs> and then, no, no, and then no, no, uh, no. that's not took off that down this back yeah. alley but yeah i guess that's probably the most dangerous thing I've his ever other done. buddy aaron hernandez yeah, his buddy doughboy I mean, was so I did, mad i did fuck this guy with aids without a condom <laughs> <laughs> And then he roped you into doing and his then, podcast every week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah. Man. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. So yeah. I guess that might be more dangerous. <laughs> I told you Different guys. Different kind of bullet. <laughs> I told you guys how much I really love you. Yeah. I, I genuinely I think you have. really love you yeah. both. No, I don't blame you. Thanks. You guys are great. Uh, I actually have uh, legitimately tried to chase down a, uh, a tornado. Uh, we were no, talking I've about, done that. I know. You did that for yeah. a job. I would right. have fucking loved to fucking do it. It was fun. Uh, but I would was, love for you to have caught it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. 
<laughs> you should don't don't give up on your dreams yet. <laughs> you keep chasing. Keep chasing them things down. No, I'm not an idiot anymore. No, we were we were like watching the storm and watching the cell. And the only reason why we decided to do it was because it wasn't like nighttime. So we were trying to chase this motherfucker out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Uh, like under the back side of the cell to where that's where the tornado that's not where the, you want to be the hook that's right. where the hook is yeah you don't want to be there you don't want to be no, there that's the worst that's place the you could be. <laughs> yes and we were definitely me oh uh, me and uh, my buddy who is uh uh the guy same guy that fell out of my truck going yeah, 60 good. same guy that sent me pictures of his turds <laughs> yeah I, right. t- I talked to him over the last week it was a lot of fun uh but yes we we me and him went out in like my truck chasing down this shitty tornado and thank God we were about two miles uh, ahead of it because if we were anywhere behind it, my truck would have got pelted with fucking baseball-sized hail. Nice. Oh, fuck. That was probably the most dangerous thing that I've ever yeah. done. Here's the question we referred to earlier. Uh, this comes from or comes in from at Youngstar Block Boy. Bl- Youngstar Black Boy. <laughs> Block Boy. Oh. Uh, sounds like you're kind of boy there, Jake. I, uh, I'm thinking... <laughs> The question is, what is your ideal day? Yeah. I'm thinking old young star block boy could find out. Oh, man. You don't know how old he is. Be careful. Oh, he's probably at least 18. Oh, uh, nah. Yeah, if he's listening to this show, he's I at sh- least 18. I sure hope so. There's no young kids that listen no, to this show. Oh, there, are, there sure are. Yeah, there really? are. Really? No, yeah, there are. But not young star black boy. <laughs> okay. No, but like, it, honestly, what, what would be your ideal day? I'm very curious. If you had a if you have a day off and you have an unlimited amount of funds, what would you want to go The one and do? thing I always wanted it's to do. It's only one day. It's one day. One day. Hmm. That's tough. It is tough. Because well, it's just cuz it's only one day, but I would yeah. say play in the World Series of Poker. Oh, that's a good day. Man, yeah. you would be you'd eliminated already, that yeah, first day. Right. No kidding. If you only get one day, you're out. You're out. Well, some of those tournaments only last one day. Okay. It doesn't have to be the main event. Are you fucking playing Indian poker or some shit? No. It yeah. Dude, they have, <laughs> yeah. they have like fucking a gajillion. <laughs> uh, that's good shit. Yeah. I'm fucking telling you, the World Series of Indian poker needs to fucking happen. Yeah. Or I guess it would be fucking hanging out and smoking all day with Snoop. That'd be a I good, mean, that'd see, be a dope ass day. Now you're getting something. Or having Justin Bieber sit on my face all day. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, there's a lot of th- a lot of things I could think yeah. of. Uh, what do you have one, Derek? Yeah, I got one. What do you got? I wake up at the crack of noon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wake up and I look at my phone and there's a text message from your wife, <laughs> and it says Scotty has been lost at sea. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I go, Oh no, I pro- I'm sure he'll be fine. And she says, Don't worry. I've moved on. I already found somebody better. (laughs) And so I I go to call JP to let him know what has happened. Uh, But JP is neck deep in a pussy eating contest at a lesbian (laughs) bar. So he's just covered in Birkenstocks and pussy juice. (laughs) So I have to, I got to tell somebody. So I call Jeremy Joseph and we go out and celebrate and have a couple beers. Uh, And then Jeremy's like, hey, uh, you want to hop on this jet? We're going to go to Chicago. Uh, We're going to go sit in a suite and we're going to go watch Bill Burr and Dave Chappelle. And I'm like, that sounds like a fantastic fucking idea. So we go to Chicago. We're right there downtown. We hop in the uh, hop in the Otis elevator to go up to the third floor. So it takes us <laughs> to our suite. Absolutely. Watch Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle. They say, hey, come on down. Uh, we tell some jokes. Kill. <laughs> kill. <laughs> fucking kill. Uh, and then we call our wives and be like, hey, there's these two hot supermodels that want to fuck us. And they're like, go ahead. You're <laughs> fine. So... We do that, uh, and then I die in my sleep. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a good day. Not bad. Uh-huh. That's a great day. Yeah, you're not going to top it. You might as well die then. Yeah. And peacefully. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's a hell of a day, man. Mm-hmm. That's a mm-hmm. good job. Yeah, that is a good one. You thought Andy. about this a little bit. On the way over. All right. Okay. <laughs> nice. Very good. Uh, my, mine uh, is the exact opposite of your your wake up part of it. I am waking up at the fucking l- fuck ass crack of dawn. I, I, even earlier, I will be up first thing in the morning. I will have the very first tea time uh, in a golf course in fucking Salt Lake outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. See, mine doesn't sound so bad. Does at, it? At, no, not at all. <laughs> uh, and at the in uh, after going golfing, uh, at by the time I get back. I get to travel to Park City, Utah, where they just had a brand new fucking layer of about like two feet of snow, where my dad is waiting for me, and I ski oh, talk all about his day dad again, all day. With him. <laughs> I've had enough. Where my dad is very much alive. 
and breathing <laughs> with a human heartbeat, not in a jar on a shelf at Derek's house. <laughs> oh, I had to. Real uh, cool, but, man. Uh, anyways. Real cool. Yep. Uh, but last and certainly not least, we're going to give a shout out to Taylor Moroski. His cornea isn't in some <laughs> strange dude's eyeball because he was a donor. <laughs> Uh, but Taylor wants to know, what are some things that men will never tell a woman? Nice try, bitch. None of your business. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, holy shit. She almost got us there, fellas. Yeah, she did. She tried. <laughs> Moving on. You got her. You got her right. All right. That I guess was that's, pressed that questions, was questions and preguntas, preguntas for today. Oh, how about you, JP? Oh, I think Derek said it all. <laughs> I don't think we need to continue. I actually had one. Oh, we don't care. Well, oh, we can discuss it off the air. Yeah, the, we're fuck done. you. No, 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 no. No, fuck you. <laughs> Trying to spill all our secrets? No, 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 no. Fuck me. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's when Derek looks at me and goes, nice try, bitch. Not today. <laughs> 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 well, all right, fine. We're going to conclude with that one because that's pretty goddamn good. I liked it. I like it. Uh, we're going to end on a good one. I'm uh, sure that's the answer she thought. She <laughs> probably. <laughs> Uh, but now we get to move on uh, to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. If I wasn't her least favorite, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I won. Yay. I got better taste in, uh, you know, underrated movies, and that's totally fair and fine. And Keith Liskey, you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, so uh, now we, we get should to have Keith on the show. Uh, that I agree. Would, oh, God. <laughs> that wouldn't be much of a show. Um, but, uh, anyways, uh, let's move on to this week's draft, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I get the championship picks and, uh, JP gets the sandwich picks, the Eiffel tower picks, which he absolutely loves. And, uh, Derek gets the, uh, advantage because he's never here. And that is the first <laughs> overall pick. Very excited about this draft. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Uh, we are going to do our favorite video game characters. Okay. Uh, modern, old, doesn't matter. Your favorite video game characters. Derek, what is your overall 101? You have to go with Mario. You can if I have you to. want to. I, yeah. I just I just visited him in, in Japan. <laughs> yeah. I that, have a picture with him. To, we're we're okay. hanging out. That's that's fine. Uh, I, I, I allow that pick. Okay, good, because um, you don't have a choice. I know, I know. Uh, how about you... JP, who is your number one pick? I get one. You get one. Mega Man. Mega Man? Okay. Love those fucking games, I, man. I have a buddy who's really into that Love shit. Love Mega Man. Yeah. This is going to be a draft where my picks are going to be fucking weird. They're just going to be uh, because I'm more modern anyways. But my number one overall pick is going to be Kratos from God of War. Because that's a badass fucking character. And then I'm going to go, let's see. I've got a couple. I think I better, uh, man. I, okay, I, I got to be honest with myself. I'm going to go with really one of my favorite games. I'm going to go with Solid Snake from Metal Gear. Okay. So that Metal Gear Solid 2 is legitimately one of my favorite fucking characters okay. of all time. Uh, how about you, JP? Sonic. Okay. Love you guys me some are going. The, you guys are going the old school shit. Love him. No, I get it. I get it. Um, and then Derek, you get two in a row. Um, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. And I'm gonna go with Ryu. That's good too, man. This is why Derek fucking always wins. First overall pick, bullshit. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hate, 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 hate. Y'all full of hate. Uh, all right. And uh, JP, what is your next pick? 
Link. Okay, that's fine. I don't. I don't yeah, you care. You can have that one, apparently, JP. Yeah. yeah I, I, thank you. I get Zelda fans. It's they're great games. It's just yeah. I, I feel like Link is kind of a fucking gay character. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. Racist and homophobic. <laughs> Look at you. that. You. It's fucking yeah. real cool, man. All right. So I'm going to go with, in my opinion, probably the best game of all time. I'm going to go with Arthur Morgan from Red Dead. Red Dead. Re- yep. I uh, hate that game. Dude, it's That's fucking great, great. I hate that game. It is fucking great. And then Jarek took my thunder with one of his fucking picks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I am going to go with probably my second overall favorite game of all time. I'm going to go from Uncharted, Nathan Drake. If you haven't played those games, you are fucking missing out. No kidding. All right, JP, go for it. Tommy Versetti. What the fuck is that from? Uh, serious? Tony Versetti? Tommy. Tommy Versetti. No. It was before Red Dead Redemption. Okay. Nothing. I'm going to guess maybe Grand Theft Auto? There you go. Okay, all right. Come on. I don't know. You really didn't know? Uh Uh-uh. Dude, I love those games, too. Which one was it from? All of them. Oh, okay. He's the main character. Nah, no. Okay. No. Uh, Derek? Okay, here's the thing. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Apparently, you can have that one. uh, Here's the thing, man. (laughs) Fuck you and your list, Is it really the main character? Yeah. I thought you were a different guy every game. No. No? No. Oh, okay. There's only one where you, well, it was. Because the new one's coming out. San Andreas is the first one where you were actually someone else. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you were a different guy every time. Okay. All right. Okay. Derek, you get. Okay, man. Last, uh, last two. God, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking see what I mean? Uh, well, I wanted your, to be. What's your last pick? Not anymore. I like Bowser. Okay. That's not bad. But you're a, And you're a huge Mario fan anyways, but you play Mario Kart still. Yeah, yeah, I love Mario Kart. I know, I know. So I'm a Bowser fan. And you get one more. Oh, I don't want to pick another one from a from a same franchise. I already did with Mario. Mm-hmm. It's a lot um, tougher than you think. You kind of run out, especially if. I mean, you can go back far enough, but yeah, I've got another one from Mortal Kombat that I like. That's what I was going to pick. That was what I was going to pick, too, but I don't want to go in, in that same area. I'm, I'm going to have to. All right. I can't think of anything else. Okay. Um, and no, I'm not going to take Sub-Zero. Whoa! Raiden. Okay. Raiden. Raiden. I knew it was Raiden. Yeah. Yeah, Raiden was kind of a fucking badass. He yeah. was. Uh, I Yeah, but I, I liked Sub-Zero the best. I was mm-hmm. that was my favorite. I always liked using the spear with Scorpion. Get oh, over here! I get like, it. It was fucking. I understand. We could do a whole draft on fucking Mortal yeah, Kombat characters, true. really. And next week when Derek's not here. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Oh, we'll do it next time. Johnny Cage was sweet too because he do the splits and you and can punch, punch him, him in, in the, the nuts. nuts. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. JP, what is your last overall pick? I'm going Street Fighter. Okay. Chun Li. Okay. Really? Okay. I love her. I that would not be the one that I would pick. Like in the yeah. movie, she's like hot and she's awesome. But I wouldn't pick her in the video games. No, that's I just like that's just not games. No, okay. I like Dalsam in Street Fighter. Dalsam's <sighs> a stud too. Yeah, he was I used him a lot. Okay. I'm trying to sit here and uh Nobody fucking cares, dude. Just pick pick your pick already. I don't need to hear a big old fucking spiel about it. Okay, but I had a whole bunch like I kind of wanted to get uh, obviously Sub Zero. I'm not going to do that because I think it's just too many Mortal Kombat characters. If I was to get any Street Fighter character, I actually would probably get like Blanca. Yeah, yeah. Blanca was the shit. Um, but I'm going with uh, the character from uh, GoldenEye 007, and I'm going to go with Odd Job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody took Laura Croft. Mm, fuck no. I'm surprised nobody did. I never even played the games, but I'm surprised Me nobody either. took her. No, I I, uh, I don't have any interest to play yeah. those games either. I never played them. Yeah, I know. Uh, but did anybody else have any like honorable mentions? I was going to go Samus or Samus from Metroid, but okay. that's an old-ass game. Dude, I get buddy of mine is love, same dude that I likes that Mega game. Man, yeah. loves Metroid. Yeah, I love it, too. Um, but yeah, no, I think we kind of did pretty decent. Crash yeah. Bandicoot. Yeah, that's, a, good that's a classic. I didn't want to go classic though. I wanted to go modern. Uh, I just, 
I, I'm, I'm happy with my list. I got pretty much every single one that I wanted. Good, dude. So that means that my list sucks. Yeah, that's uh, – <laughs> congratulations on taking third place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll take it. I don't care. You either want classic or you want the new classics. Right. Uh, and then you have JP's list. <laughs> right. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> uh, guys, you can go and vote for your favorite list of video character video game characters. And whoever wins next week, even if it is Derek, he loses because he's not here. <laughs> uh, and uh, that so that means just vote for either JP and myself. Yeah, no reason to vote no for Derek. He won't even be Derek. here. He won't Fuck even be Derek. here. Well, the other guy takes my place. He uh, drafts where I draft. No, he doesn't. He drafts at the beginning. Uh, but anyways, now we can move on to my favorite part of every single episode. <laughs> The laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and, ladies and gentlemen, Derek the Wreck Others. What? What a deal. But JP is better. <laughs> Man, listen to that applause. To that. Man, I'm used to it. Listen God, you'd have thought you would have won Wichita's Funniest Person two times. <laughs> I would have. Yeah, I entered. No kidding. Okay, so this week's laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation. Before we get to that, I wanted to point out that we uh, just went and took a break outside. And uh, if anything's wrong with the episode, we literally did have a thunderstorm or lightning storm that uh, we lost power there for a second and internet. So hope that was fun. Uh, but anyways, uh, Derek. What is this re- this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation? Would you rather sit next to these two fuckheads? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. We could be a good time. <laughs> yeah, we could. I <laughs> if I could ever get Scotty to join. <laughs> no. Um, Never. Game seven, Stanley Cup Finals. Okay. Sitting on the glass right there in the front. <laughs> You're either A on the Jumbotron, and you're eating a Snickers, both hands with a Snickers bar upside down, <laughs> eating the veiny part. Or B, fucking hockey player gets checked right into the glass, and you just stand up and show him your dick. Okay. You're All going right. viral one way, <laughs> one or, way, another. way okay. or another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which one are you going viral for? Because me, I'm ashamed of both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. going to go with showing my dick because <laughs> okay. chances are he's not going to see, see it. it anyway. Yeah. yeah, I've been looking for years. <laughs> I don't think those cameras are that high res. Uh-huh. Yeah. Favorite thing Derek has ever said is if he tried to show his dick, he looked like a transgender that hasn't quite committed yet. <laughs> so you're going with showing your dick? I'm going to okay. show my dick, yeah. <laughs> Scotty? I almost want you to go first. No, nope. I need you to go first. Because I have a feeling... Uh, I have a very strong feeling that there are going to be three dicks against this glass. <laughs> we're you going dick then. We're I'm sitting in separate. Dick. We're sitting in separate sections. Uh, I think all three laughing on the sidelines no, create no. a big joke, and uh, we are on the the jumbotron, just fucking pushing our dicks up against the glass. You know the thing is, is is her showing her tits. They were like, ah, oh, that's crazy. But if there's dick on the glass, you're arrested. <laughs> yeah, and you're on true. a list. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Sure. She could have fucking slapped her clit right up against that thing and <laughs> nothing would have happened. She probably would have got season tickets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, gar- I guarantee you next game they have her fucking front and center just in case they win again. I would sell more tickets. So I'm going Snickers bar. What the fuck? Yeah, because I want to show off my skills in case anybody's <laughs> watching. <laughs> I'm also going to do it with my dick out. Okay. So I, it's kind of both. You're doing both. Yeah, I'm doing both. It's so easy being yeah, gay. It is easy being gay, man. Happy, it really is. Happy Pride Month, motherfucker. Thank you. It's actually Men's Health Month. Both. Uh, it, no, it's the it's just the other one. No, it, it's both. It's mine. This is my no, month, motherfucker. Like I said, if you need your prostate checked, yeah, to, this is the month. Basically, what we're saying, if uh, if you're having any kind of thoughts to where you need to seek help. Uh, then you should go to uh, pray the gay away camp. Pray the gay away <laughs> dot com. Yeah. www. That's www. dot pray the gay away <laughs> dot com. <laughs> That's right. Oh, uh, shit. But anyways, honestly, thank you guys very much for another great episode. Thank you to both Derek Alders and JP. No problem. Man. I do love you guys. Love you back. 
I'm not a fucking racist, and I hate that they make fun no, of me for that shit. No, you're not, shit. man. Hey, God. See, anybody that's watching, Scotty really likes all races. God damn it. I'm, Except a few, but yeah, we won't name them. We won't name them. Only JP and myself mm. have actually dated somebody other than white, I think. Yeah. Derek? I just couldn't get pussy. That's not my fault. Not I, attempted, fault. He I tried. attempted everything. <laughs> he tried. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, I've tried races. You never you should have been of. gay, dude. <laughs> yeah. You should have been gay because black guys love a fat, fat white girl. <laughs> 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 That's good shit. Oh, God. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for doing what you continue to do. We sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, I know because Derek is going to be on baseball uh, pretty much for the rest of the season, but he's going to come back whenever he can. Uh, but I don't know who we have next week, but I have an idea. We'll see if it uh, if it happens. Uh, but, uh, JP... How's the special going before we get going out of here? Going good. It's going to be a minute. But okay. It's, Are you it's good. Open mics anytime? Uh, soon. Okay. I almost went to one last week, but then I didn't because okay. I fucking decided to go Because he, go got high. Because, yeah. because he has so much shit going, going on in on, his man. life right yeah, now. Yeah, dude. I was going to tell some yeah. fucking jokes, but then, <laughs> then I got, I got high. high. That's right. It's, that's a new verse of the song. Hey, guys, thank you very much. And as we always like to say, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us. We hope you get trampled at the gay pride parade. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time. Beef. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We'll see y'all later. Take care.